I'm too judgmental. And to be honest, you might be too. But the thing is, I mean, I just thought I'd make this video because it's throughout the past week, it's been one of the biggest things that are on my mind. And <clears throat> come right there, I'm talking weird. And it's just the biggest thing that's been on my mind because I realized that when I see other people do like doing anything, like they could be literally just be a normal person. I already noticed that I'm like, in my mind, I'm degrading them. I'm already like, this might just be social conditioning, which so a little bit of it might just be product of my environment. But now that I've noticed this, I need to then take accountability, which is what everybody needs to do when they notice a problem. But so judgment, judgment is it can be a good thing like obviously it's like a survival thing like where like you judge that you're not around you're not in the right environment you're not around good people which can be dangerous but i'm talking about like if somebody is really like committed to the gym or if somebody's like starting a business you see with youtube if you wanted to be a youtuber what's the first thing that would stop you other people other people what other people would think if they found your YouTube channel. What you would think of yourself if somebody found your YouTube channel. You'd want to delete it all. You wish they never saw it. Like, if you're really into the gym, what's stopping you from making a fitness Instagram account? I know it is for me. One, I don't want to make it a fitness Instagram account because, well, I'm not that big yet, first of all. Um... Second of all, what what are people gonna think? They're gonna see this. I'm I'm not a twig. I have I, like I'm a leaner build, but what are, they're gonna think I'm a twig? What is this twig doing making all this? And the truth is, when you make it, I'm just using social media for example because you're really watching this on YouTube. But when you make an account, it can't have a million subscribers in one day. You're going to have to go through the awkward phase. You're going to have to go through, people see it. It's like, oh man, what am I doing? But the thing is, you're not going to be questioning yourself once you succeed. You only question yourself when the outcome is unknown. And that's those are important words. Because if you know, if you know what you want and what your dream is, why are you going to let other people stop you? And I'm... One, obviously I'm not commenting in people's like stuff like what are you doing what are you doing but my own brain I'm already can we just I have a freaking Fortnite chair do I play video games no I don't play video games anymore you saw hopefully you saw my last video if you didn't hopefully you'll watch that after this but I don't play video games anymore the chair was on sale I wanted a nice chair but like when I was on zoom calls for COVID I would always block it because I was worried that people would see. And people did see. And people said stuff to me, like, to make fun of me. Obviously, I'm not some wuss, so it didn't touch me at all. But, like, at the end of the day, it didn't matter. Because I liked, I liked the chair. So why does it matter? Nobody right now in the world, nobody at this moment is thinking, maybe besides you, is thinking about my Fortnite gaming chair. Nobody. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter for them. They they might have their issues. They might have problems that they need to fix that I have nothing to do with. So I guess if you're a judgmental person like I am, something that you need to kind of think about is the fact that your judgment is wasting your own brain power. By me keeping track of I think this person's weird for this. I think this person's weird for this. I think that it's taking up space. Whether you think so or not, it's taking up brain space. And it's literally wasting brain space. I could be using that to like get better at soccer. Like I said, that's my big passion. It's simple things like, I want to go D1. Everybody that wants to play college sports wants to go Division One. I recognize that. So I know I need to work harder than everybody else. But if somebody asks me if I want to play college soccer, I'm literally hesitant to say that I want to play Division One because I'm worried about what they'll think. Oh, he thinks he's better than he is. 
it's good to have confidence in yourself. But the overall theme of this video, and it's going to be a short one because I'm not going to lie, I do have homework to do after this because I've been putting it off. I, I worked out and I had track today, so I've been putting it off. And so the overlying thing to take from this is quit judging others when you need to start focusing on yourself. Don't waste thoughts and brain power on worrying about what other people think about you and you worrying about what other people are doing. Because at the end of the day, it's you against the world and you need to work on yourself. You need to think about where you're putting your brain power and you just need to be more positive because something that's holding you back is people judging you. So don't then be one of the things that are like don't be a, the person that is judging if you if things that are stopping you are people judging you and you like you don't like that feeling then why be part of the problem by judging other people so that's something i need to work on it might be something that you need to work on if you clicked on this video it might be something that you need to work on but just kind of like take that into consideration throughout the week throughout your life actually if you notice that you're judging somebody just think like it doesn't really pertain to you so that's all um just keep working and improving yourself